Welcome to Last Week in Crypto in 100 seconds or less. Starting off, Bitcoin's had a bit of a rough week, hitting a high of about 68k, bouncing at 61k, and finishing the week basically at 67k. If we got the top 5 out of the top 100, we got Ondo rising 93%, Phantom up 34%, ICP up 32%, Toncoin up 32%, and Stacks up 28%. Top 5 losers were Render down 15%, Bonk down 14%, Injective down 13%, Pyth down 12%, and Theta down 10%. A new stablecoin launches on Card which is 100% fiat backed and can be used by anyone but to mint and burn the tokens you have to be in an eligible jurisdiction and pass the KYC and AML identity verification. BlackRock and Coinbase have teamed up to launch what they've called Biddle or BUIDL which has already started with a 100 million USDC deposit onto the Ethereum mainnet. MicroStrategy just bought another 623 million dollars in Bitcoin reaching 214,000 Bitcoin and is now the owner of 1% of the entire Bitcoin supply. Fidelity updates their Ethereum spot ETF application to include staking. Although analysts don't think the ETF is gonna get approved by the end of the year, with the two biggest reasons being the Ethereum Foundation has just faced a probe from the state authority. The Polygon ZK EVM sees a 10 hour outage and with almost no one noticing. El Salvador plans to double down on Bitcoin by buying one whole coin every day until it becomes unaffordable. A new meme coin on Solana, Slurf, raises $10 million in a pre-sale and accidentally burns it all. And the SEC is allegedly campaigning to classify Ethereum as a security, probably led by our boy Gary. 